Hey everyone, welcome to the Quest for Quail episode one. Uh, what you're looking at right now is the Hovabater Incubator model 1602N. Uh, we set 42 uh, jumbo brown Coturnix quail eggs in there uh, about three days ago. Today's the 16th, and you can see I put there uh, 1 13, 7 p.m. And there are the eggs in there. Uh, those yellow trays are an add-on with the automatic turner. You can see the motor over there for the automatic turner. Uh, those are an add-on. <clears throat> supposed to get 100 quail eggs in there. You're supposed to be able to get 100 quail eggs in there. But in reality, uh, because the jumbo brown uh, quail eggs are so big, they you can't fit them in side by side. Maybe I'll make another video showing that. Uh, but you can really only use one row on each tray. And then also, even then, some of the eggs sit too tall, so when the trays tip, it's an automatic turner, uh, they bump into each other. And you also see I have uh, mounted a fan in there. This is uh, one screw point is right here, and the other screw point was right here, uh, just on the two corners of the fan. Uh, and that's really to circulate the air <coughs> through there uh, and make sure it's all even throughout the incubator. Uh, my goal here is to have it in the mid to high 40s uh, humidity wise, you can see over here, uh, 45 to 50% humidity wise, and then about 99 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, when this red light comes on, that means the heat is on. Uh, the thermostat is controlled over here. You can see the controls. Uh, to increase, you turn it counterclockwise, and to decrease, you turn it clockwise. But <clears throat> The thermometer that they gave us uh, with the incubator is just one of these ones right here. Uh, just your simple mercury thermometer. I wanted something a little more accurate and I also wanted the uh, hydrometer for the humidity. So if we take a look at, this also has a memory feature. Take a look at what the temperature has been. Max has been 101.1 and minimum has been 97.9. So we're pretty close there uh, to where we want to be between 98 and, uh, one, and 101 and then you can see the minimum humidity was uh, 42% max being 47 so <clears throat> yeah I think we're in good shape uh, this is our first time doing this so we'll see what happens uh, we originally had 52 eggs and while we were trying to get them all to fit in there uh, we kind of uh, ended up having a little bit of an accident and cracking a few so we just ended up eating those and uh, we have 42 left. We'll see what happens. I think 50% uh, hatch rate, I'd be happy with that for our first time out. Um, but we'll see what happens. The <clears throat> These incubators come with these uh, vent holes, which I'm actually using for the power for the fan and then the, the uh, probe for the thermometer. And then there's other these other holes here where you can actually mount a fan that they sell custom. Uh, but the kit was pretty expensive. I think it was close to $50. So I just kind of made my own. Uh, out of an old computer fan, old computer case fan, you can see part of it in there. And I um, actually used a power adapter for an old Linksys router. And I'll do another video on that and how to make your own uh, for much under or much less than $50 uh, <clears throat> for the kit. Uh, I also want to talk about these little plugs here. These are actually for the uh, for these vent holes. Now you want to keep some ventilation in there. Uh, but you also, one of the ways to increase uh, or decrease humidity is to open up the vent holes and one way to increase it is to close up the vent holes. But you can see there's already some here from where the fan mount was supposed to be. Uh, and if you look, see if you can see this, there's some holes here on the bottom too. And that allows the air to come in from the bottom and flow through. So yeah, that's kind of the setup we have. We ran it for about a day before putting the eggs in there just to see how it would work out. And, over the last three days or so, we've been making very minor adjustments. Um, we put a little bit of water in for the humidity, but uh, not much. It was around 17 to 20 percent, and even just a little bit of water brought it right up close to 50. Uh, we had actually ended up sucking some out. But that's the operation we have going there. Uh, kind of a long video, but I uh, hope to be doing a few more of these uh, as the process continues.